Hey, welcome to Dark Dragon's Math. We are doing vertical and congruent angles. Really, we're doing vertical angles, which are congruent angles. Uh, angles are short vertex. Let's get into it so I can explain what the heck I'm talking about. So, vertical angles uh, are created when when two lines meet. When two lines meet at a point, the angles formed opposite uh, opposite one another are vertical. They are also congruent which I believe we know, but just to make sure you do, congruent angles are angles that have the same value. They're angles that are equal to each other. Yeah, that's it. So angles that are equal to one another are congruent. Um, okay. So, um, all right, so, oh, let me show you a picture. So, if these are two lines that meet right here, two lines, the vertical angles are the ones that are opposite each other. So, this right here and this right here are equal to each other. They're vertical angles. Um, same thing goes for these. Those two are vertical angles. And I want to point out that I did put one line here, one line here. Put two lines here and two lines here. That's something we do in geometry to kind of show uh, congruency. Uh, the the two lined angles are equal to each other, and the one lined angles are equal to each other. Um, or if you're really cool, you can color them in like, ooh, look at that. The greens are equal. The oranges are equal. Anyways, so those uh, those are vertical angles. Um, find the value of x. So this is something I haven't talked about yet. Um, we know that a circle, hopefully, it's 360 degrees around. Like if you that's why if you turn around in a circle, you've gone 360 degrees. Well, the same thing can be said here. From here all the way back to here is 360 degrees. Um, so when lines share a vertex all of the angles added together is going to be 100 or excuse me going to be 360 degrees and that's what we're working with here we're going to say that uh, find the value of x 360 is the same as 84 plus 138 plus 4x so 84 plus 138 plus 4x so let's solve for x here uh, i'm going to add these two together here I get 360 is equal to, I believe that is 222 plus 4x. Um, subtract 222 from both sides. Uh, that's 8. This is going to be a 5, 3, 138 is equal to 4x. Divide by 4, divide by 4. Um, so let's go ahead and just divide 138. Uh, 4 goes into 13 three times. That's 12. Subtract 1. 4 goes into 18 four times. That's 16. I have 2 left, so let's go ahead and add that 0, 20. 4 goes into 20. Remember to keep our decimal five times. So 34.5. Is what x is equal to. So x equals 34.5. Right here, find the value of x again. Uh, this time, this might actually be simpler. Um, I have three x's, two x's, four x's. Um, so all the way around is 360 is equal to 2x plus 3x plus 4x. Um, 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 4 is 9, so 360 is equal to 9x, divide by 9, divide by 9, x is equal to 360 divided by 9, well 36 divided by 9 is 4, so this is 40, hooray! 
Uh, you guys do this one. I think the one on the back as well. If I can move paper. I knew it was going to... Sorry about the large green and orange dot there. Um, AB is a straight line. Find the value of each variable. Now, one thing I want to point out about these um, these questions, they don't add any information that is extraneous. Everything is important. Nothing is there to distract you or whatever. So AB is a straight line, something you have to consider. What they're trying to say is AB makes 180 degrees. If you hear something is a straight line, it makes 180 degrees. That means this right here is 180 degrees. So 4B plus 80 is 180 degrees. And that's going to help us. So we want to find the value of each variable. Now there's a variable that's B, there's another one there, and C. So we need to find B and C. So we can do that. Subtract 80, subtract 80. I get 4B is equal to 100. Divide by 4, divide by 4. Uh, B is equal to 100 over 4, which is 25. So B equals 25. Now again, this equals 180 degrees. Those are supplementary. So B plus C equals 180 degrees. Now we just found that B is 25. So that means that 25 plus C is equal to 180 degrees. Subtract 25, subtract 25, C is equal to, uh, this is 5, 155 degrees. Yay! Alright, um, here, the diagram below in the diagram below, the ratio to A to B to C is 1 to 2 to 2. Find the values of A to B to C. So um, we did this in the past. We say, okay, so A is like 1x, because we don't know exactly what it equals. B is like 2x, and so is C. So that means that all th uh, three of those angles is 160, because it goes around a circle, uh, or it's around a vertex, is 2x plus 2x plus x, which is... 5x, divide by 5, divide by 5, I get x is equal to 360 divided by 5. Well, um, was, I believe that is 72. Um, it is, it's 72. Well, 72 degrees. You can check me on your calculator because you have that ability. Um, all right, so you guys try this one. Remember what I said about uh, straight lines, um, vertical angles. I'll just help you out real quick that I would start probably here and remember that vertical angles means this is the same as that. That's the easiest way to do it. Or you could just do that as well. But anyways, your choice. It's called an angle chase. I, I haven't even talked about that, at least not on camera. Uh, these are angle chases, and they're really cool, and you, you, there's more than one way to solve it because there's so many different rules, and you'll notice that as we get deeper into these. But just remember, there's no wrong way. As long as you're doing something and getting closer to, to the variables, more variables will start to pop out. And we're only working with simple two variables right now, but we might get more complex, and, and I want you to be excited about that, that it's a puzzle, that you don't have to see it right away, but just keep, keep plugging along. Um, so we do that one, and then here. Uh, a, B, and C, D are straight lines. That's great. Straight lines. So this is a straight line. That's a straight line. They meet at a vertex. Uh, find the value of X. So that means that they're equal to each other because they're vertical. So 2X is equal to 60. Find the value of X. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. X is equal to 30. That one was really easy. Um, this one right here, probably also easy. Uh, two straight lines meet. Uh, finding the angle 1 is 76 degrees. Find the value of all the other variables. So if this is 76, this is vertical to this right here. 
Um, so that means that B is equal to 76 degrees. Awesome for us. Now A and C are going to be equal, but also we could say, you know, this right here, that's a, that's a line. That's a 180 degrees. So C is going to be equal to 180 degrees minus 76, um, which that is 104 degrees. So C is 104 degrees. And also, you know, C and A, they're vertical. So that means that A is also 104 degrees. Um, now, we didn't get into a proof of why vertical angles happen, but I think this is a good time to explain it. Uh, look, this is 180 degrees, right? So if that's 180 degrees, oh, this is also 180 degrees. So, and since this is equal to itself, 180 minus B is going to equal C, right? And 180 minus B is also going to equal A. Uh, so I'm not writing anything down, which is confusing. 180 minus B is equal to C. Because, you know, it's just 180 degrees. This is straight. Now 180 degrees minus B is also equal to A. So since these two things are equal to each other, I think 180 minus B is going to be the same no matter what B is. That means that C is equal to A uh, by the transitive property. And I might not have done an awesome job, but uh, that's, the, that's the general proof of it. You'll hear it again sometime, hopefully. Um, you're up. Do those two. Uh, come back to class. Uh, if you have any questions for me, remember them. Uh, as always, enjoy doing your math. Have a nice day, young Padawans.